Good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, depending where you are. I am Daniela Otero, CEO of SCAR International, and I would like to thank all of you for joining us. We want to support all our members and their company to collaborate with them in this stage of reconstruction of the tourism sector. Therefore, we would like to share with all of you that SCAL International has obtained the safe travel stamp and that as part of our agreement with the WTTC, we can now also offer it free of charge to all our members who wish to obtain it. International mobility is still low and there are regions or countries that still maintain travel restriction. However, there are already signs of a slow recovery in travel confidence and regions are beginning to experience the benefit of vaccination. Tourists will be looking for safety and confidence when they travel. With a safe travel stamp, travelers will be able to recognize those companies that protect their health with strict guidelines, which is a way to achieve competitiveness and positioning in this time of reopen of the activity. Some governments and entities have development guidelines and protocols, as well as stamp that certify that the businesses and the news implement the necessary preventive measure to reopen in safe condition. However, at the what international level, and in order to standardize criteria, the WTTC has created the safe travel stamp. To understand more about this stamp and how to obtain it, today we are pleased to have with us Kira Gillespie, Policy Associate at WTTC. Thank you in advance for staying with us, Kira, and welcome. Thank you, Daniela. I'll um, just share my screen now. Um, I know you have prepared a presentation to tell us about the stamp, right? So, Kira, now the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Daniela. Um, can you all see the screen all right? Perfect. Great. Um, so good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for having me. Um, my name is Kira Gillespie, and I'm a policy associate working for um, the World Travel and Tourism Council, uh, also commonly known as WTTC. Um, before we begin, I would just like to express my gratitude to SCAL for asking to join you all on this webinar to discuss our Safe Travel Stamp Initiative. Um, this the Safe Travels initiative started just over a year ago in May 2020, and we never thought it would have reached the level it has now. Um, we're fast, we're, we're two countries off reaching 300 destinations. Um, so we're, we're very proud to share um, the progress we've made and hopefully we can get you on board as well. Um, as we all know, Safe Travels has become an ever increasingly important issue in our industries after COVID-19. Um, continued joint discussions and sharing of experiences will only strengthen and build us towards a more robust and successful restart and recovery for travel and tourism. Um, so I'll just give a little overview of WTTC, what our own goals and priorities are in case you aren't familiar with us. Um, so we speak on behalf of the global travel and tourism private sector. And for 30 years, we've been quantifying the impact of travel and tourism in over 185 countries for our research. Um, here at WTTC, our mission is to maximize the inclusive and sustainable um, growth potential of the travel and tourism sector by partnering with governments, destinations, communities, and other stakeholders to drive economic development, create jobs, reduce poverty, and create more understanding in our world. Um, since establishing itself as a global forum for business leaders in travel and tourism in the late 1980s, 
uh, WTTC has had many achievements and its role and activities have grown significantly. But its core mission remains the same, to raise awareness for the full economic and social impact and potential of travel and tourism. So WTTC has been working to support the travel and tourism sector in achieving an effective recovery by developing meaningful action plans, optimize sector-wide recovery efforts, and, provide, and also to provide the public and private sectors with the right insights and toolkits for interaction and implementation. In the context of its recovery initiative, WTTC has worked with members, governments, and health experts to design new operational and health protocols to support our sector's recovery. WTTC has also launched the world's first ever global safety and hygiene stamp designed to allow travelers to recognize governments and businesses around the world that have adopted the safe travels protocols. Working together with industry leaders, the stamp is an integral part of building consumer confidence in travelers and welcoming them back. At the time of writing, we are at currently at 298 destinations. We're only too short of reaching 300, which will be a big milestone for us. Um, so all of these are now currently lined with safe travel protocols, which I will talk about more now. Um, but it's important for us to look to the past to make sure that we don't make the same mistakes as then and rebuild better and faster. Um, so previous global crises like 9-11, um, for example, have shown there are a number of do's and don'ts that underlie successful recovery initiatives. Um, key pitfalls to, are to avoid working in silos and reinventing or creating unnecessarily new travel um, processes. Unfortunately, this has often been the response, um, most notably after the tragedy of 9-11, where the lack of coordination among governments um, and with the private sector caused long lasting travel disruption, higher costs and a longer recovery time. Um, with, the, um, with the global financial crisis, but whilst it was a different event, there was a lot more coordination between public and private um, sector via the 220. And the more they worked together, it, it was a faster recovery than what was the case with 9-11. Um, so this is just um, a graph showing. So um, A is 9-11, B is the global financial crisis and how, so obviously they're very steep V-shaped um, um, graphs. And you know now we kind of want to make sure that it's a U-shape. So it's not when like this instance like COVID happens, it's not such a severe downturn. We want to build the right protocols and the right initiatives so that we can recover faster and easier. Um, so we must we must look um, obviously learn from the past and from good practices while ensuring wild and comp comprehensive coordination and alignment across the public and private sectors to ensure that robust global measures are put in place to help rebuild confidence. In this regard, the implementation of global protocols or standards jointly embraced by governments and the private sector is absolutely vital to gaining back traveler confidence. So um, under the leadership of Saudi Arabia and its presidency of the G20, the global travel and tourism and private sector was asked to put together a plan to support the recovery of the sector and bring back 100 million jobs. The first action of the 24 point plan was to implement standardized global health and safety protocols across all industries and geographies to facilitate a consistent and safe travel experience. And this leads me to my next point. So in the wake of COVID-19, WTTC therefore acted quickly to produce new global safe travel protocols for use by the travel and tourism stakeholders as best practice guidelines to help restart and speed up the recovery of the sector. They were designed to rebuild confidence among travelers and within the sector, as well as to provide consistency and guidance to destination authorities, travel providers, operators, and travelers themselves about the new approach to health and hygiene in the post COVID-19 world. So um, the protocols, oh, sorry, I should stay on there. Um, the protocols were developed in collaboration with WTTC members, um, leading industry associations and international organizations, and take into account the current guidelines of the World Health Organization 
and the, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. Importantly, um, it's, it's, it's important to note that they are living documents, uh, which are co constantly updated as new information comes in about COVID. As we know, it's an ever-changing situation, what with new variants and new science, new information coming out all the time. Um, and WTTC recommends the private sector and destination authorities who adapt these um, the, to adopt a risk-based approach based on high and low risk context and adapt their measures accordingly. Um, a one size fits all approach is not the right solution because it's different for each scenario. Um, the safe travel protocols for each key industry within the travel and tourism sector will help to provide alignment and consistency to ensure the safety of travelers and workforces as the sector recovers from COVID-19. Industry protocols are, were, were launched in phases. Um, presently, we have 11 industry protocols available. So we have some for hospitality, outdoor retail, aviation, airports, cooperators, short-term rental, um, attractions, car rental, um, convention centers, meetings and events. Uh, we've just launched one for insurance companies and there's one for cruise lines, which is currently under development. And um, we, WTTC is calling upon all national, regional and local destination authorities to back the adoption of safe travel protocols so that they can be implemented globally and restore much needed confidence in travelers to restart the travel and tourism sector. So whilst I was talking about um, the protocols being launched in phases, these were the four main pillars we've encapsulated with our protocols. So, the purpose of alignment across these industries, all the protocols are split up into operational and staff preparedness, ensuring a safe experience, rebuilding trust and confidence, and implementing enabling policies. In order to consolidate the success of the protocols and to encourage and recognize their successful uptake by destinations and companies around the world, WTTC launched um, the first ever global safety and hygiene stamp, which immediately received the backing of the United Nations World Tourism Organization, UNWTO. The stamp designed specifically to address COVID-19 and similar outbreaks. Um, so we've kind of built it as a foundation for, I mean, we obviously hope there will not be another pandemic, but the likelihood is there. So it's kind of a template for good practice for the future as well as the present. Um, it's to, to address similar outbreaks, allows travellers to recognise governments and businesses around the world which have adopted health and hygiene protocols that are aligned with WTTC's safe travels protocols. All countries, destination authorities and companies operating in travel and tourism can use the stamp, provided they comply with the safe travel protocols and in the case of aviation with the International Civil Aviation Organization's takeoffs guidance, um, a question we get a lot is what cost is there to use the stamp? There's absolutely no cost, it's free to use. Um, we wanted to keep it free to use so it could be disseminated to as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. We want to encourage everyone to be um, safe and... Kira, uh, two things. Uh, the translator um, asked me to uh, speak slowly so they can... Oh, okay translate uh, in, into Spanish uh, best. And uh, you have um, some background. Um, oh, really? Yes. So if you can check your microphone, it will be perfect. OK. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Um, we can share, uh, obviously, with our members all this presentation and the webinar um, is recording now, so don't worry about it. Okay, All the so members will, will no, don't worry, don't worry, Kira. So I think that we can continue. Um, yeah. Um, do you have the, your mobile uh, close to you? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I, I think that this is a problem. It's typical sound. <laughs> Thank you. What, my, my phone? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we will continue. We will try to do the best. Thank you, Kira. Okay. Thank you. Um, um, so, sorry, the safe travel stamp is based on um, self-assessment and it is mm -hmm. notification. Countries, destination authorities and companies using the stamp have confirmed that they have implemented and will ensure 
ongoing compliance with the safe travel protocols and ICAO takeoff guidelines. Um, so this is a map showing um, the countries and destinations who have received the stamp so far, which is 298. Um, it's proven to be a great success so far, um, ranging from users from central governments, provinces and municipalities. Um, moreover, over 100 more and growing have applied and the list is growing daily. The stamp success clearly demonstrates its importance not only to destinations and businesses, but also to travellers and the hundreds of millions of people around the world who work in and depend on the travel and tourism sector. And um, now I will talk more about how to implement the stamp and ensure... Okay. Okay, I think that this is the most important thing for, for our members. Uh, when you when you finish with the journal uh, guidelines, uh, we can explain how can SCAL members obtain the stamp. So don't worry about it. Sure. Okay. Um, so safe travel destinations also have the opportunity and responsibility to advocate the implementation of the safe travel protocols and the uptake of the stamp to their subsidiary public sector authorities and private sector organizations and to ensure their ongoing compliance with the protocols. This has facilitated the dissemination of the protocols and stamp to thousands of companies in those destinations, international and national level travel and tourism industry associations and WTTC members are also empowered to issue the stamp to their stakeholders, thereby complementing the efforts of government and catalyzing the uptake. And there are a number of ways this can be achieved. Um, some of our most popular ways of ensuring compliance to members has been through critical evaluations, consumer generated evaluations, stamp issued as additional um, to, to an in already established international stamp, mm -hmm. stamps and certifications, um, inspections and random spot checks out in house and by subcontracted entities and self-evaluations and declarations. And um, I'll just show some examples of what we've seen other countries take up so far. It's ultimately up to a destination how they want to measure compliance. Um, so each, there's no right or wrong way. It's what works best for you and your organization. Right. So um, with uh, Bermuda, who took a self-evaluation um, standpoint, they created a safe travels landing page on their website which links to an application form and detailed checklist. Uh, companies complete the checklist, which is then reviewed by them. Upon successful evaluation, applicants can then receive the stamp. Um, another example we have, and this is perhaps a more hands-on approach, um, but this is you know, what works best for them, from Tobago. Um, Tobago sends their health and safety manual to their stakeholders together with a compliance form. Once they are willing to abide by the manual, stakeholders fill and submit the compliance form and then receive the safe travel stamp. And then that Tobago carries out random spot visits to the tourism business who own the stamp to ensure the stakeholders are complying. Those in breach are required to remove the logo immediately. Um, to date though, thankfully, all tours and businesses are operating in compliance with our safe travel protocols. And um, Jordan, took another, a, diff, a different approach with the use of mobile apps and QR codes. Um, so they implemented health and safety protocols at tourism touch points, restaurants, hotels, transport links. And for the use of mobile apps and QR codes, the customer can evaluate the level of compliance with their health and safety um, SOPs. Those who meet the requirements from a customer perspective will be legible for the stamp. So all three very different ways, know which way is better than the other, but it's all dependent on what works best for you and your organization. Um, we've also seen, in, so another way of using this, like people have used the stamp on their website landing pages. Um, some have even put it on merchandise. So it is kind of an open-ended way. Um, but just to wrap up, um, it's pretty evident that the travel and tourism sector looks set to continue facing 
severe challenges stemming from the COVID-19 pandemic. However, with the introduction of vaccines, we can see things are slowly but surely getting better. Um, in these times, though, the safe travel protocols and STAMP are an internationally coordinated approach to reduce, reducing the risk of spreading the disease. Going forward, it will be crucial that destinations and companies apply those protocols using a risk-based approach as epidemiological circumstances vary from country to country and evolve over time. As for WTTC, it is now looking at how to develop training and verification modules to support stakeholders in applying these vital guidelines, in addition to its wider and coordinated efforts to remove travel barriers and rebuild traveler confidence. So thank you for listening. I'm sorry about the sound. No, call. it's okay. It was fantastic and, and very uh, clear, Kira. So thank you so much. Uh, you I think much. that we have a, a, a big picture about uh, the importance of the, this stamp and, and the proposal for, for this stamp. So now uh, how we can SCAL members obtain the stamp. So Esther uh, prepared a, a, a difference um, pictures for share with our members. So will be an example how we can adapt this guideline from WTTC from our SCAL members, Kira. And then we will receive a question from the audience. Uh, we have uh, plenty of time for answer these questions and we are more than able to, to share with, with you all the questions around the world. Because I know that is um, the first time <laughs> actually for the for for the sector uh, one uh, stamp like this so there are a lot of uh, questions around uh, the the use uh, how to use this this stamp um, so thank you Esther. Um, we will try to explain how can skull members obtain this stamp the access to obtain the stamp is really very easy. You will need to be logging before you start the process. You can access through the banner on the home page or go to form members and click the WTTC Safe Travel Stamp link. Once again, we remind you that to continue, you will need to be logging, then click how to apply. Then go to the application form that will take you to the online form. You can see now in the, in the screen and easy. Complete this application and basically sub Meet it. You will then receive a confirmation email with the logo and the documentation needed to use it. And that's it. But the important thing here is you must to read very carefully all the documents and the guidelines for receive the uh, stamp. This is, I think, the most important thing. So please. Take your time for do it, and if you um, have questions about it, you can answer uh, now, or we can receive uh, later in in our in our office. Um, we have uh, the first question, Kira. Uh, could the implementation be the same for all companies? How would the safe travel stand be implemented for? and inbound tourist companies. Um, at the first of our presentation, you explained that now uh, WTTC have 11 protocols depending yes. of the sector, right? Yes. So the aim, oh, can, can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Um, so the aim of the protocols is to provide a very, well, they are in depth, but in depth, um, guidelines for each kind of like aviation, airports, hotels, hospitality. Um, naturally, we, we can't encompass everything. All we ask is that when you provide us your protocols, either you can simply email us and confirm you are going to align with our protocols as they are, 
or you can use our protocols as like inspiration um, to develop your own. You'll see from our protocols that they all kind of encompass the same thing as in um, cleanliness procedures, hygiene procedures. Those are really um, social distancing, mask wearing. As long as you're hitting those key points, which I think we're all pretty familiar with now. And to be honest, not many tourism business can operate without those anyway. As long as you're hitting those key points, it doesn't really matter what um, like particular sector you are in within, uh, sorry, industry within. So um, uh, yeah, you can implement it that way. Um, it doesn't have to be spot on exactly what we're saying. It just has to be related to. Exactly. So for uh, our members, when uh, they can apply, they can select in which you know, sector they want to apply. Yes, exactly. Yes, you can hone in on the sector you're interested in and wanting to apply for. Definitely. Exactly. For this, uh, my recommendation was at the beginning to take time to read carefully all the papers, all the information and select the recommendation more close to your business. Absolutely, because it, it, it only makes more sense because they're tailored more specifically to those ones. Yes, exactly. And another question, one member from Brazil asked you, Chiara, for what reason in your slide 11, Brazil not appear there? I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, let me <laughs> just remember what slide 11 is. <laughs> on, I think that is the map. Oh yes, yeah, so maybe um, is the map. I uh, hold on. Sorry, I'm really sorry. When I re when I went on, I realized I hadn't updated. Brazil is a hundred percent part of it. Actually, we've had a huge take in Brazil recently. Um, their their central authorities are dishing out the stamp left, right, and center. So we've had a huge uptake. So sorry, Brazil is 100% accounted for that. Unfortunately, I didn't update it in time. So that was my fault. This is, this is important because now Brazil, you know, is in a difficult, very difficult situation like yes. and the rest of Latin America. So now this area are very sensitive with, Absolutely. with the, the reopen because take more time, I, we suppose we will take more time than the rest of Europe or USA or the rest. Um, another question, what does the dip in the curve look like today? Do the COVID compare to the two curves shown down in the graphic? This is um, relative uh, um, in relationship with another uh, graphic that you present in, uh, you know? Uh, oh, um what, um, I'm trying to find the question, sorry. Um, uh, mix that, um, the, the curves show in the graphic. You, you, you exactly. Um, to, be, to be completely honest, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, that's something that I think is definitely good to look at and to compare for the future. Um, but as of right now, we don't know. I think what the point I was trying to make with that is we, we need to make, COVID has been a huge wake up call to all of us. I think it's really proven how essential public and private partnership is. Um, governments can't work by themselves. Private sectors can't work by themselves. They have to work together. Um, my point was kind of saying that after 9-11, for example, there was little coordination and that's why it was such a difficult recovery. Um, similar to the global financial crisis was a little bit better because there was a bit more um, coordination. But I think the point I was trying to make was that let's learn from the past. Let's work, work together consistently. I think we've been a lot better at doing that this time around. Um, but yeah, that's a really great point. Um, I definitely like to look at that data and maybe update that slide with what the situation looks okay. like. Okay, uh, another question uh, from the audience. Is the stamp obtained for individuals or only for companies? Uh, you clarify that the, the stamp will be able for the destination and of course for the company, but what happened with the professional in the area? Um, we, I think we were doing that, but we just don't have the bandwidth now. So it really is for destination authorities, companies, and WTTC members. Of course, people can apply through their central and local authorities who have the stamp, um, but we've had to kind of cut down on that because of the bandwidth. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. 
if someone has two businesses, can they apply for both or connect the two together? Um, that's a very good question. I would say, I think you would have to apply separately because if your businesses are different, um, I, I don't, we'd have to assess the protocols on a separate basis. So I think unfortunately you'd have to. Exactly. exactly, but you can use together if you want to promote your businesses, for example. Oh, yeah, yes, of course. If they both have the stamp, you can use, yes, of course. Exactly. So the application is separate, but the use it maybe is together. Absolutely. You can definitely. OK. Use OK. Another question from the audience. Is there a presentation to the general public or a promotional campaign to make travelers aware of the value of the stamp? <laughs> Um, that's again a very good question. Um, to be honest, because uh, we've we've got a team work. I'm more working on. I work mainly with the destination authorities, but I think the most we've done in terms of promotion is we do our press releases that get released to different journals and newspapers. And um, but as for like a big promotional campaign, we released a video um, a while ago, but I'm not really too sure what the traction was like on that um but it's pretty um we, we do get emails from the public when they've when they've seen the stamp and used it and i we've also had emails from people saying they booked a holiday purely because they saw the safe travel logo so i think it's credibility and recognition is building um but as for a promotional campaign um not that i know of as of yet but that that's a good question that's something i should Another one, uh, do you have the list of countries that have applied for this stamp? Because we received, for example, a specific question for uh, Hungary. Okay, um, yes. So if you go to the WTTC website, um, yes. hover on COVID-19 and click on safe travels, there will be the updated, which I, I didn't put the updated one, unfortunately, on this PowerPoint, but it will show you the updated map and then there will be a whole list of every single country, company, association, et cetera, who has the stamp. Um, so I'm actually not sure off the top of my head if Hungary are on there. I don't think they are. I also saw that someone asked about Australia. Um, Australia have not um, applied for the stamp and some of the bigger countries, it's more difficult to um, get them on board with some of the protocols. We just managed to get New Zealand, um, but Australia not not so yet. But we'd love that is so that's something we're working on at the moment. We'd love to get Australia. Um, okay, where can we get update information on the world participation chart? Um, oh, so is, is that again referring to that global? Um, mm, yeah. Um, well, just I guess it would just be to because we update that weekly when we get new destinations. So I guess I'd just say the same thing, go back on the website. Again, we check it weekly. Um, we're about to hit 300. Um, so yeah, that map will keep getting updated as well as um, we also have little infographics and statements from different countries yeah. and why the stamp has been really useful. In, in, in my, my recommendation and my feeling is the real goal here is to go together the destination with uh, the private sector. Yes. Uh, this is the idea. In our weekly meetings with uh, all uh, companies and national and WTTC, we speak about it, you know? Uh, we need to push uh, the private sector, but the governments will be uh, in the same line for, for be successful uh, as soon as possible. This is, I think, that the most important things, Kira. Absolutely, I totally agree. Yeah. Uh, another question from the audience. Can, uh, can WTTC send out a social media campaign we can promote on our, our channels? Um, yes, absolutely. I will speak to, um, I. so I'm not involved in that, but what I can do, perhaps I could send that to you, Daniela, or- Yes, of course. And then you can relay it back to your members. Um, definitely, that's something I can do. Fantastic. So uh, we, we uh, actually we, we need to repeat that the, the good information in our website uh, and, and the steps are absolutely easy. So remember, if you are a member, SCAL members, the access to obtain the stamp is easy. 
you will need to be logged in before you start the process. You can access through the banner on the home page or go to for members in our platform and click the WTDC Safe Travel Stamp link. And once again, we remind you that to continue, you will need to be logged in. Uh, then click how to apply. Then go to the application form that we uh, show you uh, uh, two or three minutes ago that will take you to the online form, complete this application and submit. Uh, you will then receive a confirmation email with the logo and the documentation needed to use it. Again, you need to read carefully all the information, all the indication, all the guidelines, you know, because you need to protect your client at the end. So this is the, the best way for do it. Um, how many countries uh, do you remember um, apply around the world, uh, the safe travel stamp? Who, more or less? who have received it? Yes. Um, I think we're almost on, we, we're, I think we're 92 at the moment. Um, so 92 at the moment. Again, we're expected to get Switzerland this week and we've been pushing for Ireland. So we're hoping to bump that up even more. Mm -hmm. the, the relationship between the governments and companies in one country is important because the governments make more like a certification. Uh, we, we, we speak before that this is not a certification, it's a stamp and, and there are different things, you know. So the governments uh, in the national level or at the local level uh, need to uh, make this certification, but you can apply for this stamp in the first state. Yes. Yeah, this is this is the idea. So, um, do you want to to clarify something more? Um, oh, we, we received, for example, but I don't know if you remember um, a question from South Africa. Um, could you tell us if South Africa has applied to the stamp? I I, I don't know, but maybe you remember. So different destinations within South Africa have applied and success, successfully got the stamp. And by that I mean. Cape Town has the stamp. Um, I'm probably, I can check actually right now for you. Um, Stellenbosch, um, sorry if I'm pronouncing this the wrong way, um, Franschok Wine Valley. So um, singular- uh, Different locations. Have yes. The, exactly, exactly. We yes. don't know if the government in the national level apply for it. So they, they haven't, but with, that's sorry, that's something I probably should have clarified. Locations within a country are more than welcome to apply, like little cities or municipalities. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes what we struggle with, obviously, is to get a, a, the government international level involved. Um, but yes, yeah, so there are, if you go to South Africa, you will see that stamp in some of those spots. Um, okay. Another question, this is for, for, for me, does it cost anything to get this stamp? In, in our uh, case, our members, CAL members, uh, for obtain uh, this stamp is absolutely free of charge. So you can do it free of charge through our website. Uh, so this is the answer. It's, it's free across the board. Like exactly. Just at all. <laughs> yeah. Can a company of multiple hotels in the same country apply for one stamp for all or well, is the same um, um, yes if, if you question. are one company representing all those hotels then yes i think that's that sounds absolutely fine to me um, so, yeah. okay okay another question how can we assist in getting our country or our state receive the stamp this is another question i think ross um from Australia, and you mentioned that Australia uh, is not ready to Well, to apply. We, I know that our membership team are chasing up with Tourism Australia. Um, as far as I know, they've, they've not shown any interest. Well, I think we tried tracing them right at the very beginning when we started this, but obviously, you know, things were all a bit up in the air. I think people weren't really maybe, cons their government, the priority wasn't travel at that point. Um, but in a, in a case of assisting, I guess, writing to your, your government and pushing any tourism stakeholders, you know, who are involved with them and pushing for that stamp. Um, but 
also at just a local municipality level, we'd, we'd accept um, applications from there too. We just haven't received them. Um, I guess because I guess part of the reason was our, the, the strict, we initially had very strict like rules about the quarantine, as in they weren't so, you couldn't have the stamp if you implemented like a 14 day quarantine. We've changed that now, but obviously Australia had very strict quarantine rules. So yeah. I, I put them off understandably um but that's we've revised that so it's different now mm -hmm. um another question from south africa so as a south africa tour operator are we able to get the stamp since the government hasn't applied the, the answer is yes of course yes they can exactly exactly this is important so if you uh, wants to apply apply do it follow the the guidelines uh, and doesn't matter of course, the, the best scenario is go with your government in local level or in the national level. But if you want to push and do it or, or yourself, you can do it, of course, free of charge through our website. This is, yes. I think, the, the best way. And, and I believe that if you think about it, I, there are a lot of uh, companies um, 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 that have this uh, safe travel stamp in one region, I think that the governments in the local level, for example, or in the national level can see this and maybe exactly. you know, react. It's another way to push or to, you know. 100%. And with Switzerland, who we were pushing for for a long time and they were kind of basically ignoring us, they've seen the uptake in the stamp in other European countries. So they emailed us recently and were like, oh, we'd, we'd love to get involved. And so governments and municipalities, they can see the value of it. So um, yeah, just apply for it because <laughs> um, mm -hmm. yeah, they will get, they do get interested and they do. Mm -hmm. um, we receive in Spanish now one, one question. Uh, in which place in in your uh, homepage or, or platform, WTTC platform, is possible to check how many hotels and the name of hotels uh, who apply to, to the STAM? Um, I can double check that for you now. I'm pretty sure it's, hold on. Um... So there should, on the, if you hover over safe travel stamp application, um, there should be, oh, I'm trying to. Yeah. So uh, for, for clarify uh, to our members, uh, WTTC website have um, opened a lot of information. So we can recommend you visit the, the, the homepage and, and uh, see this kind of information. Of course, you can ask because you are not a member in an individual uh, way, but uh, we, like an um, uh, organization, we are part of WTDC, so normally we can inform to our members all the, the information that uh, we feel that is interesting for, for share with, with all the members. Yeah, I've just, um, I've just checked the website. I, I can see what you mean. I can't see the... I thought we had the hospitality bits up that we've got the destinations and associations, mm -hmm. but I can't seem to see the private companies. So I can, again, pass that on to Daniela. Okay. Um, it okay. should be up there, but I don't know why I can't see it at the moment. So maybe. Yeah, don't, don't worry. Don't worry, Kira. But I think that we have now the, the, the most important information. So we speak about what is a WTTC stamp what is the reason or the recommendation for do or apply uh, uh, to this stamp and how is the way for SCAL members to obtain uh, this stamp. It's important again to read carefully and select with what kind of uh, protocols is more close to your business and follow the recommendation is the only way to work together for uh, uh, as soon as possible we start our our sector around the world uh, we we know uh, kira that uh, the situation are 
absolutely different. Uh, there are a lot of uh, country uh, with a lot of problems with the vaccinations, uh, with a, a lot of restrictions uh, or quarantines, like you mentioned. <laughs> you live in London now in the UK, so you, we have an, an example very close to, to Spain. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Um, okay. We, I, give me a second, I can check if we have another country um, a question. Is there any guidelines able for uh, this? Yes, of course, you can follow uh, the, the guidelines through our uh, website, MSCAL website. Uh, please log in before to access this because this is part of uh, the benefits for for the members, so you can need to to log to log in uh, into our platform. Um, and another uh, question is: Can you share a WTC media release we can adapt? Yes, of course, always we can share this kind of information. We are very close, <laughs> uh, basically weekly meetings with, with our UTTC uh, team. So yes, more, more than happy to, to assist our members and, and provide guidelines or information uh, for do it. Um, uh, these, these questions came from different uh, countries. Um, one was, for example, uh, Canada. And I know that maybe not in the national level, but in the different region, you yes. have region in Canada to apply for the stamp, right? Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah. Because, but not uh, the uh, national government. Yeah, 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 because I have a contact with, with a lot of uh, um, different regions there in Canada, and, and they told me that they are work together for try to obtain in a national level this, this yeah. stem and, and will be fantastic too. So um, thank you so much, Kira. It was, I think, very interesting to share with you all this information. Uh, if there are any questions, uh, we will stay in contact with WTTC uh, team. Uh, thank you for, for your uh, time. And of course, uh, also thanks to our audience and we look forward to see you in our next webinar. And again, try to apply uh, to this stamp. We will help uh, to all of the companies and the sector for uh, reopening in safe condition. So thank you, Kira. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Stay Thanks with for you. having me. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias a todos. Thank you very much. Have a good day, good evening, or good afternoon. Thank you.